which other angle now we do know guys that this is an isosceles triangle so in our answers watch here I'm now going to put these were the questions I'm going to do the answers and the reasoning on this side of the board okay so we've got angle R2 we said is equal to X and the reason that we put is tan chord theorem how does that help us in any way to get to R1 is R1 related to anything as it stands no so we need to use an indirect method there is no direct link between any angle between R1 and any angle okay so we got this is we also know that this is an isosceles triangle so therefore angle Q2 must also equal to X because this line is equal to that line these two angles must be equal okay so now we got angle Q2 let's now prove it to be an isosceles triangle let's prove it to be an isosceles triangle so now we say in triangle P R Q we've got P Q P Q is equal to P R that was given therefore triangle P Q R or P R Q is isosceles therefore angle Q2 is also equal to X so if that was equal to X so we got tan chord theorem isosceles triangle we got Q2 equal to X therefore Q1 is equal to how much guys we know angles on a straight line add up to how much 180 degrees therefore Q1 therefore angle Q1 is equal to 180 minus X plus X minus X right minus x plus x so which is equal to so angle q1 is equal to 180 minus 2x so here we go we now go and write angle q1 is equal to 180 minus 2x okay so we've got angle q1 to be equal to 180 minus 2x we need to get to r1 which other angle can be related to x now remember something these two lines are parallel so if Q is equal to X, which other angle is also equal to X? And I know this is an oversight. You might not just pick it up immediately, but study it. These two lines are parallel. That is equal to X. Here's the F shape. So if this angle is equal to X, angle G is also equal to X. They are corresponding angles. So therefore, angle G is equal to X. So now we're going to say angle G is equal to angle X, or is also can be called X because of corresponding angles and we know corresponding angles are equal now we can get to R1 because sum of angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees so I'm just going to move up uh, in fact let's do it here let's continue here I'm going to say in triangle RQG RQG you're telling the person who's marking your paper please look at this triangle here R1 R1 plus Q1 plus G is equal to 180 degrees sum of angles of a triangle sum of angles of a triangle equal to 180 degrees okay now what is we need to find R1 that was the question right we need to find we need to prove that R1 is equal to X so we need R1 do I have Q1 yes I have plus 180 minus 2x plus do I have G yes plus X is equal to 180 there's an equation R1 plus 180 minus 2x plus X minus X is equal to 180 angle R1 is equal to 180 minus 180 so angle R1 minus X is equal to 180 minus 180 is 0 therefore angle R1 is equal to X and there we've got oh, there we go we've proved angle R1 equal to X just the first question alone guys is worth six marks now hectic riders like this hectic riders like this in the exam you don't need to attack it first you can leave it for last in your exam if you have enough time you go and you go and break your brains about it answer everything first and then you will get your final answer okay but don't stress too much about it for now yes it is worth 50 marks I know it's a difficult concept it, it takes a little bit of practice okay we've come now back to the we've come to the end of the show but we still have these other questions to do so what we're gonna do we're gonna continue in the next episode 
answering question A2, B and C. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of homework. So you guys will do this till our next episode, till we meet again. I will give you the, the, the memo. Enjoy maths, enjoy the show, watch our repeats and stay tuned to ITV channel 347. From me, Mohamed Kota, your presenter and host, have a wonderful week. Enjoy mathematics and just know that we love you all. Thank you.